once done in that direction so it was bang in the middle and it really was surrounded by fields hence the name St Martin in the Fields um, it was built by James Gibbs in the 1780s and uh, it really is a marvel to go inside as well it's a wonderful crypt and if you fancy, to, if fancy eating somewhere different when you're here <laughs> Dublin who use it oh, Dublin Dublin great love Dublin hi Elaine hi Henri Hey Sue, how are you? Um, yeah, so if you fancy eating somewhere different, you can eat in a rather nice uh, cafeteria in the crypt. Oh, well, Chris on the pediment of St. Martin's. Hi, Alan. Hi, uh, we said hello to Sue, but we can say hello again. So it's also the parish church of, Buc of uh, Downing Street. There's people sitting down, I'm gonna have to squeeze by them. So John, listen to this. Listen to this. See the statue in the background? Okay, so that statue there is of uh, George Washington, the first president of the United States. And um, it was given to London by uh, the Commonwealth of Virginia in 1921. And you may think, very strange to have um, a statue of uh, George Washington in the middle of Trafalgar Square. But as it was presented by Virginia, London decided to put it here. Thanks for following, Elaine. Please follow me, guys, if you're new to me. Uh, Maureen, thanks for joining. And Joyce, hello again. So George Washington's here. Now, apparently, I love this, George Washington said that he never Never would set foot on British soil. So what happened here was before they laid the base of the statue they sprinkled some American soil on the ground and placed the base and the statue on top of it so he never really did step on English soil um, in London including Abraham Lincoln of course at, at uh, Parliament Square there's always some lovely um, buskers here. This guy's very good. He's been playing Ed Sheeran and Tracy Chapman. Let's have a listen for a bit. Hi Judy, thanks for joining. Please follow me. So guys, we are lucky in this country to have well in london especially to have so many free museums and galleries like the british museum the tate modern the natural history museum and the national gallery is are just some of the free galleries and, and museums here and guys it's a privilege to go here everyone from uh, all the master painters from Canaletto to Raphael to Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Van Gogh's sunflowers are here, Titian, Turner, Constable, pretty much anyone you could think of is in the National Gallery. It's completely free, completely free. So if you come to London, I would suggest, especially if the weather's not so good, to enter the National Gallery. <laughs> Police are going by, don't seem to worry about this sort of thing. There we go. As you can see, the UK has got most money at the moment. You still live in Fitzrovia, user? Wow, you must have had some money. <laughs> I wish I lived in Fitzrovia. The king, King James II in Roman costume. Very interesting statue. As it says Jacobus II, so it's all in Latin here. There we go, that's King James II. Now, he was the, he abdicated, left the country in favour, he was Catholic king, only here for three years, the brother of Charles II and son of Charles I. More about him later. Hi, Brenda. Hey, Gloria, thanks for joining. Pointing downwards. Now, this um, statue used to be by the Thames at Whitehall Palace. It used to be the magnificent Whitehall Palace in this area. And some people, they wonder why it's pointing like this. Some people say it was pointing uh, to, to show you the, how he was going to escape. Uh, and when he, when he did escape, uh, his daughter Queen uh, became Queen Mary II, married William of Orange, and they jo ruled jointly 
So that's King Charles II's gallery. And uh, the new king, King Charles III. Correct me, guys, if I say Prince Charles. When he was Prince Charles, uh, he has a lot of, we had a lot of views on architecture in particular. This is okay, I think he approved of this, but the original design he did not like. And he called it a monstrous carbuncle on the face of a much loved and elegant friend. Uh, anyway, I think commission. And where are the flags? Are? I mean, usually the flags would be here. And I thought they'd be at half mast, but there are no flags. But believe me, it is Canada House, the Canadian High Commission. Notice that I say High Commission and not Embassy, because uh, an embassy is only for those countries outside of the Commonwealth. As uh, Queen is was, excuse me, head of state, Canada. Uh, we have a High Commission here, but it used to be a, a gentleman's club. Built, it's now the Canadian Embassy. I think it's been the Canadian Embassy since about 90. Embassy, what am I saying? I just. So, 1923. It's the fourth plinth, and it w did have an ice cream by Heather Philipson. It was a sculpture. This has an uh, ever revolving, uh, every couple of years they have new modern works of art here. I'm going to give you some examples. So, I'll show you what use was here. I'm surprised it's gone. There you go. That's the ice cream. Always made me thirsty. It was here for about three years because of the pandemic. They didn't change it. And let me show you some of the other works of art that have been here in the west side of Trafalgar Square. <laughs> you don't get the... <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, it's five foot, five meters, five, five and a half meters high. The statue at the top made of sandstone. The plinth, it's the um, column and the plinth are made of granite, and that's 52 meters high. And I'm just to give you a close up, if I can, of the statue. In 15, oh, there we go, whoa, 1596, lightning struck the shoulder of uh, Nelson. It's still got that chip on his shoulder. <laughs> and also, I love this fact that um, when they built the column, 14 of the builders had lunch on top of the column, on the plinth. Not my idea of a good time. And you got that guys? Hope so, coming out again. Very busy in London, lots of police, not just the Metropolitan Police, police from all over the UK have been drafted in for uh, this week's funeral. Guys, this is a really nice shot, but unfortunately, there's the fence in the way. Hi Alyssa, thanks for joining. Guys, please follow me. Fence there. How about, how about that? How about that? Why the fence? They don't normally, Jan Janelle, oh sorry, Elaine, they don't normally, it's just, I think it's because the, um, after the, uh, the funeral on Monday, the, um, the procession will come past Trafalgar Square on its way back, back to Buckingham Palace. King Charles was a Goons fan, absolutely he was. Thank you for joining Patricia. So I think they're just, um, yeah, protecting the square in that sense. Or the uh, cenotaph. Getting that, guys? I'm holding my arm as high as I can. Ouch! It aches. Okay, pediments at the at the bottom. One of the bronze reliefs at the bottom. And then I'm gonna got a little surprise for you. As uh, as we can't go into the square, I've got a couple from other countries from countries as far away as Brazil and Russia. And I want to show you this in particular. Very interesting, if I can zoom in. Do you see there, right in the, in the corner there, you see uh, an African man. So there are many from Africa as well. This isn't just political correctness, political correctness, he was actually on board. The victory. Okay, oh, my arm's aching. I'm holding my hand up again. Here's a great line here. Oh, look, that's quite a nice picture. It looks like there's the spire of St. Martin's growing out of his back. So the lions were sculpted by Edwin Landseer, Edwin Landseer, and he was really known for being a painter. So it's quite a surprise that he was asked to, uh, to sculpt the lions, but he, he did it very willingly even though some people say he never even held a chisel 
in his hand. Um, he bought a dead lion from London Zoo because he wanted to get it right. He finally finished the lions in 1867, but he gave up on the paws <laughs> because um, the lion that he bought, the carcass of the lion was beginning to smell and rot. So he threw it away and he never had time to really study the paws of the lion. So what he did, oh, coming back down here guys, can I see if I can just